One aspect of this Myanmar election that renders it historic is the transparency with which it was conducted and the access that international and domestic observers were allowed. So for the first time in the history of this country, certainly since the beginning of the military rule, international observers were allowed to come and observe the election. To witness an election that is so historic, it's a very rare opportunity. And it's one in which one can actually witness the pivotal moment of democratization. There were approximately 1,200 international observers, and there were 10,000 Myanmar national observers who were trained and who were out observing the election process. We were excited to be a part of that, uh, and the Carter Center played a very unique role in making that happen. We waited so long, so long to vote. Since 1962, it is our battle, and not with the gun, but with the vote. I'd like to warmly congratulate the people of Myanmar congratulate them for their extraordinary commitment to move this country forward. At the same time, there are serious flaws in the constitutional and legal and human rights framework, and many persons were excluded from participating in the elections. Despite these flaws, Myanmar is definitely on a positive trajectory towards a peaceful democratic transition. It was a very exciting day. People were participating in a way that they'd never participated before or at least hadn't participated in many, many years. We met one person who had been the first voter at his polling station and I asked him what time he got there. He said, I got here at 3 o'clock in the morning. I said, oh, that sounds like a long time to wait. And he said, oh, but we've been waiting for so much longer. And you know, that sentiment was, was real. Uh, there aren't many places in the world where the Carter Center could have a greater impact uh, on the future of the country.